Welcome to Strong and Balanced. My name is Pat Agostino. I'm a physical therapist here with PeopleFit. If you've never taken this type of class before, we always ask you to consult your physician or physical therapist first. All these exercises can be done at a countertop um, or sink height in case you need to grab on or something firm. Uh, and with that, let's begin. We're going to start off with a little warm up. Feet are hips width apart, knees are soft. Pull your head up off your shoulders. And we're going to do some nice neck circles in one direction. I hope everyone had a nice weekend. And let's reverse that neck circle, please. We should hopefully be getting some good weather this week. I cannot wait. Fantastic. We'll do some arm circles in one direction. And only circle where you're comfortable circling and let's reverse that direction. Great, little arch in your back, belly button in, and we're just gonna march in place with high knees. Fantastic, feet nice and wide, stick your bottom out, and we're just gonna do a little bit of rotation side to side. So we have some golfers in the group. Get you ready for golf season. I'm sure it'll be here sooner than you think. And let's come on back up. We're going to go into one of your balanced positions. The easiest is feet together. You can try heel to the inside of your big toe, one foot in front of the other or the most challenging is one foot off of the ground. I'm gonna have you find something to stare at, okay? So just a spot on the wall, and while you're staring at the spot, or you can stare at your monitor, I want you to keep your eyes locked, maybe even on me, as you turn your head left and right. You won't be able to turn that far, but I want you to keep your eyes locked as you're doing that. I say look at me and then I walk, I say to look at me and then I walk away. That's really good. Okay, yep, just turning your head left and right, keeping your eyes locked on me. Most of you are saying this is so easy. And a few of you are saying this is ridiculously hard. It works in a reflex that controls your eyes and your balance. Let's stay in the same position, stare directly at me or a spot on the wall, and let's nod your chin up and down, keeping your eyes focused the whole time. Great, if you had your feet, you don't actually have to move your feet at this point, all right? Uh, that was actually just to work the inner ear um, and that reflex that we we're talking about. Now we're gonna bring your thumbs up and we're gonna do the opposite. We're gonna actually turn your head and look from one thumb to the other. Thumb to thumb. And most of you will find this one more challenging. Remember, keep those knees soft, listen to those feet, and we're just gonna go side to side. Fantastic. If you had your feet staggered, I'm going to ask you to reverse that foot position. If you had your feet together, just keep them there. Thumbs up. And again, thumb to thumb. 
If you have neck arthritis and this bothers you, you don't have to go so far. Just bring your hands out a little further. I used to say you want a nice flexible neck so you can see out of the back of your car, but I think things have changed with all these backup cameras. And three more, two, and one. Good, let's bring those arms down. Let's bring your feet about hips width apart, belly button in, let's come up onto the toes and back on the heels. Heels and toes without sticking your bottom out. I'm gonna go back and forth, let's keep on going. In five, four, three, two, and one. Feet together, right arm out to the side. Let's bend those knees. Slide your left foot back till your toe is touching your heel. And let's kick that left leg out to the side. Remember, hip is in, knee is soft. Good. In five, four, three, two, and one. Let's do the opposite side. Slide that foot back, bend that front knee, and out to the side. Toes pointing straight ahead. You can do it without bringing your foot back down to the ground. Even better, just tap your heel and return to Kansas or wherever you'd like to return to. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and come on back. Toes slightly in. Let's come up on the toes and back on the heels. Toes and heels. In six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's get in, let's stretch out your calf muscles. Back toe slightly in, long step forward with your right, with one foot. Remember, you can hold on to a wall, you can hold on to a countertop, you can do your mind meditation, whatever you want to do. You can do it all, good. And let's hold it there until you hopefully feel a stretch in the front of this hip or the back of your calf. If you're getting a nice stretch in the front of that hip and you want to accentuate that stretch, if you can squeeze this glute muscle and thrust that hip forward a little bit more, you may even get a little bit more stretch in the front of that hip. Good stretch for posture because it allows you to be upright from your lower body. Great, and let's switch to the other side. Bend that front knee. Remember, you want some weight on that back foot. It shouldn't be all forward on your on that front foot. Let's get the weight on your back foot. And let's hold it here. Again, you can squeeze that left glute. See if you can get a little bit more of a stretch there. Great, let's come on back up. Let's reach out with the right hand. Knees are soft again. We're just gonna bring the left knee up and down. If you'd like, let's draw the letter S. 
with your left foot. There's some nice sunshine. Good. A nice S. Just draw it. Okay, try not to draw too much with your toe. Draw it mainly with your hip. Okay, that means the whole leg is kind of straight and you're just drawing it along or you're just coming up and down. And if you're coming up and down, I don't want you rounding your lower back to do it. Remember, a little arch in your back. Let's come up and down. Work that hip flexor for five, four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. Let's shift over to the other side. Come on up and down. Four, letter S. Let her rest, so we're up and down. Great work. For five, four, three, two, and one. Come on back down. We're going to raise one arm and one leg at the same time. Let's start off by really getting your right hand out to the side. Shifting your weight onto the right foot. And let's come forward, side, and back. Most of you have to touch the floor on the way down, but if you can do it by just swooping that foot over to the side and back, please feel free to challenge yourself to pause at the top of each of these positions. Good. And back. When you're back, don't overextend the back. It's just about kicking the leg back and using those glutes. Good, out and back. Two more, slow and controlled. Good. And last one. Good. Or oh, try bringing it up fast and lowering slow. Whatever you'd like to do, just slowing down the movement is good. All right, let's switch around to the other side. Again, let's get this uh, left leg set. Knees are soft, weights on the outside of the, that outside border of that foot. And let's raise on up. Just come out to the side. Come on back. Forward. Side. And back, slow and controlled, hold it, and back. Let's try three more of these in control. Good, two, you know, what? let's try one more. Swoop forward, nice and controlled, out to the side, and then come on back. Excellent. All right. So we're going to try a little bit of stepping or hopping side to side. So let's start off in athletic position. Remember, knees are soft. Um, and we most certainly could just step, step, step. We're going to do three steps, and then we're going to try to hold it there. Okay, or you can try jumping a little bit to the side, whatever you're comfortable with. But we're going to start off by going to the left first. Now, the fear always is that your momentum gets going this way and your feet get caught up. So, if you need to be near something, please do. If you have osteoporosis, um, it, I would especially try to land with a nice soft foot that's landing on the pad of your foot. So, let's hop or step to the left, to the right, to the left, and then you're going to try to stick the land. Okay, this simulates kind of I'm staggering and I kind of have to catch myself. All right, so let's go left, right, left, and hold. Let's do it again. Left, right, left, and hold. If you want to challenge yourself on the last three, we're going to land on the left foot. And then we're going to turn our head one side to the other. Okay. Left, right, left. And let's turn that head from one side to the other. Good. We're going to do two more of those. Left, right, left. And if you want a head turn, 
Good. One more. Left. Right. Left and hold. And a head turn. And hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Fly the airplane. Good. Excellent. You're all going to get your licenses early. All right, let's go to the other side. So we're going to go right, left, right, and hold. Okay. Or you can do some hopping or leaping side to side. Good. Right, left, right, and hold. Good. Again, right, left, right, and hold. Three more, and if you want to add a head turn to this, we can. Right, left, right, with a head turn. Good. Two more, right, left, right, with a head turn. Last one, right, left, right with a head turn. And let's just hold this position and you try to fly your airplane. Put we'll one foot up off the ground for a few more seconds. And come on back down. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna start to do a little bit of a walking of the plank. So we're gonna start for most of you, heel to the inside of your big toe. And then we're gonna step forward with a pause. Step forward. Forward. And forward. And let's go in reverse. 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 And reverse to challenge yourself if you like. Go directly one foot in front of the other. And let's try to circumduct that leg around by bringing it way wide and stepping. Nice wide half circle and step. Wide circle. And wide circle. And let's go back with the circle. Back, back, and back. We're going to keep on going forward and back. This time we'll do the same exact thing, except we're going to turn our heads. Step, turn your head right and left. Step forward, turn your head right and left. Turn your head, step, turn your head right and left. And let's go back, turn your head right and left. Turn, step back, turn your head. Step back, turn your head. Step back and turn your head. All right, a quick stretch before we get on the floor. If you have osteoporosis, please hold on to something. Lean forward so you feel a little stretch behind your thigh, keeping an arch in your back, or if you have back pain. Otherwise, we're gonna stretch the back and the hamstrings at the same time by allowing yourself to forward fold and hanging on down. Remember, no straining, just a nice gentle stretch. Nice breaths. As you exhale, let your body fall. And if any time you develop any back pain, remember, bend your knees, belly button in, and come on back up to standing. And let's switch to the opposite leg if you're stretching one leg. Two more nice deep breaths. Last breath, breathe in, bend your knees, 
uncurl up into a standing position, march and breathe. March and breathe. Let's get all the blood back to where it belongs. All right, we're either gonna get onto the floor or into bed. If you have a mini resistance band that you'd like to use, please grab it. But we are gonna start either by doing a pelvic tilt on your back or a plank on the floor. And I will meet you in either location in 30 seconds. All right, those of you doing your pelvic tilts, I know that was a quick 30 seconds. But you're doing your pelvic tilt on your back, knees up and bent. You're gonna push your lower back flat by pulling your abs in for five seconds and relaxing, five seconds, and then rest for everyone else. We're gonna come down onto our stomachs. Elbows are gonna be underneath your body. Clasp your hands together, toes down, and then you're gonna lift up your belly button off of the floor or the bed from your knees or your toes, whatever you feel comfortable with. And we're just gonna hold it here. I think I told you I was watching my neighbor's chickens, my chicken farming days. Thank goodness they're coming to an end in two days. Although it has gone smoothly and I've gotten a lot of eggs. They are cute chickens, but I don't think there's chickens in my future. If you're doing your pelvic tilt, please continue to do them. Holding for one, two, three, four, five. Everyone else, let's hold for 10 more seconds. In four, three, two, and one. Let's come on down. Let's come right onto your back. We're going to do a nice little warm up for your lower back. Feet together, knees together, arms out to the side. And we're going to let the knees drop from one side to the other, please. Just letting them drop side to side. I mean, you can. You can support your back by pulling in those abdominals. You may feel a little stretch on your lower back on the opposite side of where your knees are going. That's pretty normal as long as you don't get sore later from doing it. Okay. If you have a mini resistance band you want to use, you can put it on both legs just above your knees, please. Louise, if your name is Louise, we go with all three. Good. Feet are hips width apart to a hair wider than that. You're going to stretch the band just a few inches. Belly button is going to be in. And then you're going to lift your hips up. Good. If bridges bother your back, Again, you can continue with your pelvic tilts, pushing down. Otherwise, let's lift up, hold for five seconds. And come on back down. Squeeze those glutes, come on up. And down. Come on up. And down. Come on up, you have three more. And down. Come on up. And down. Last one. Come on up. And down. Right onto your side, please. We're going to start off in a clamshell position. Hips flexed, knees slightly flexed, feet to stay together as you open and close your knee. My hands on my hip to make sure that my hip is not rolling backwards. Good, you just opening and closing for 10, nine, eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's straighten out your legs. Let's slide your top toe back to your back heel. And then let's raise that leg up and down. Okay, remember for this one, I want my hips rolled slightly forward. Good. And if just holding your leg up off the ground is enough, that's fantastic. You're not bringing your foot all the way back down to the bed if possible. You're pushing your hip down away from your ear, okay? That maximizes the amount of glute work you're doing. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's tap your toe on the floor in front of you, rolling slightly forward, kneecap is facing down, and now you're gonna raise your heel up towards the ceiling to continue to work on those glutes. And eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. You guys are doing fantastic. Let's come on to the other side, please. And we're going to do your clamshells and on the half opening and closing. Open and close. Five, four, three, two, and one. Straighten out both your legs in line with your body, please. Slide your back foot back a little bit, roll that hip a little bit forward, and come on up and down. Push that hip down away from your ear. And if you do all those things, hopefully you start to feel these muscles back in here working. There's important balance muscles. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's tap your toe in front of you, rolling forward slightly, kneecap facing down, lead with the heel up towards the ceiling for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, Four, three, two, and one. Guys are rock stars. Let's take that band off. We're gonna come right back onto your back. I'm gonna end off with a few stretches. Let's straighten out the right leg, bring the left knee up towards your chest. If it bothers your knee, just grab behind the knee. And let's hold it there. And to the other side, please. And let's hold it. Good. Let's bring the soles of your feet together and let your knees fall out to the side. If you want to use your hands to push down on those knees to get a little bit more resistance, that is fine. It's a great time for you to do your um, the rest of your stretching that you might do on the floor. I hope you guys have a great week and happy St. Paddy's Day. And um, we'll see you guys here next week. Take care.